guys, it's France. Welcome back again for a new channel on Monday, week 77. I hope you missed me uh, as much as I missed you last week. Today I'm starting with some gesso that I'm applying over a Finnevar stencil. And as it's white on white, you can't see anything. But once it's dried, I add some water and then add some splatters of echoing. And that's when the interesting part of the gesso will be revealed. Once it's completely dried, I add some more splatters still with um, a water-soluble ink, but this time I'm going in with a black Color X. Um, there isn't that much difference between the Color X and the Echoline. It's a different brand. Then going back in with the stencil, but this time I'm spraying just a tiny bit of dilutions on top of it. And I'm not placing the stencil exactly where I place it to apply the chest. This is an old paintbrush, or a real do-it-yourself paintbrush, that I only use to apply gesso. But the thing is, I never, I never um, clean this paintbrush, so it has a lot of dried gesso. Um, on it and it's really hard and I'm actually using it like I would use a stamp to stamp my gesso on the paper and this gives a very fun texture to the gesso as well as allowing me to blend the edges of my spread. And once this is dried, I'm going in with the stress ink, but I'm using the same colors of the stress ink than I have uh, used in the um, Echoline for the first layer. So I'm only accentuating the colors that are already on there. And then using a baby wipe, I'm allowing my gesso to peek back through all those layers. Using some vintage photo distress ink, I'm going around the edges. Um, this is a very old postcard from 1954 that I received from one of my students. And I'm going to combine it with a doily and with some Finnevar um, canvas resist. Now, what I really like about this canvas is that the resist is really, really visible. It's not just a little soft thing in the background. It really is on there. So I'm colorizing uh, my strip. I'm taking the excess ink with the doily. <clears throat> and then I'm drying everything using my heat gun. Now, I should not have done this on my craft sheet because heating the strip made the glue melt on the black on the back side and it got stuck on my craft sheet so the only thing left to do was to peel all the glue away which was very easy to do as it was completely melted but that's okay i just had to add new glue to my border and i could just use it and as you can see the white parts are really white on there this is a piece of paper that I made um, using the craft modeling paste from PBO and I didn't end up using that piece of paper. So I'm going to use it today. I'm adding a bit of distress ink to make the colors work with today's spread. And using a punch, I just punched out a couple of circles. Those are one inch circles. Uh, 
I got some metallic embellishments out that I want to use and those have been home rusted. Now I received a lot of questions about one of my latest um, Instagram photos where I showed my new uh, Finnevar toys rusting. I'm planning a blog post about my home rusting method. I decided to add some uh, sewing to the border that I already glued down and then I simply continue gluing down the embellishments that I chose. Taking out some eyelets that I want to use. And this is matte accents that I'm using to glue down the embellishments. As you can see, it's a real postcard, but the text wasn't all that happy, so I chose to use um, the photo. And then using uh, the big bite, I'm going to place my eyelets now as I want to have them in a row and I want my row to be more or less straight, I'm using a ruler. When using um, these kinds of eyelets with a, a, a crocodile or a big bite, first you make the holes in the paper and then you place the eyelets in the paper. Uh, someone asked me why it wasn't working when she placed the eyelets on her uh, crocodile or big bite. You have to place them on the paper. I'm colorizing some twine that I want to use. It's a bit too light, so I'm just rubbing the uh, vintage photo blending tool over it. So I'm repeating this three times to have three lines of um, twine. Now these uh, metallic embellishments are quite um, dimensional, so I'm going to place them in a different way. But before I do so, I want to add some red accents on my spread and I'm doing this with washi tape. So first I'm making um, a hole in the paper and this is metallic wire but it's very thin so i can use it a bit like i would use um, sewing thread so i'm placing it through the hole of the typewriter letter and then through my uh, metallic flowers i'm just adding a bit of glue to make sure everything will stay in place and that the paper won't um, tear up completely when attaching it to the back
and to make sure everything will stay in place on the back side I'm also adding a strip of masking tape. I'm doing the same with this metallic piece. First a bit of matte accents to keep it more or less in place. Making holes in the paper and then using a very very thin metallic wire I'm going um, to sew it in place. This is another um, mechanical, it's one of the Roman numerals, minis. And then I'm adding a little tag, just adding a bit of vintage for the distress ink on the edges. And to make it work with the rest of the spread, I'm going to add a reinforcement ink, a re reinforcement ring. Um, out of the same paper as I used to make, to punch out the circles. So I'm using a smaller cir circle punch and then an even smaller one to punch the hole in the middle of the circle. Using my design cube I'm stamping some circles. And this is a fun place to add some journaling on. Now I'm gluing it in place, but I'm also going back in with the sewing machine. and adding some mini pieces of red washi tape will make, make it work with the rest of the spread. Now I did like my tag, so I wanted more. And not only craft tags, but also in the same paper as I used to punch out the circles. And on this one I will be doing the exact opposite. I will add a brown reinforcement ring. And then again going back in with the sewing machine. I picked up all kinds of mini little leftovers. This is a piece of cambric uh, that I'm gluing down. I also have two mini pieces of fabric that um, I used to roll up when I'm bored and <laughs> sitting at my table and while well, I'm just gluing them down all curled up and this is a strip a, a piece of plaster strip all all little things that I had laying around this is also one that I had laying around this is this is a little uh, heart I made out of cold porcelain I painted it in red and then adding the same thin metallical wire around it, I'm gluing it to the spread. Here again I'm adding uh, the same thin metallic wire. Some more red, red washi tape. Seems I'm, I'm um, loving little red accents on my spreads lately. <coughs> Now I thought I would not show this part as well. It's just cutting the paste, the, the, the spread in half so that I can glue it in my 
our channel, but due to the reactions I received last time, people being in shock seeing me cut my spread in half, I thought, well, I'll show it to you again. It really doesn't hurt to do this. None at all. And now I can glue it inside my art channel. So I decided to add a, a little wording. This one says Expecto Patronum. Harry Potter fans will know what I mean. And I'm gluing it on the same paper again that I used for the circles. So it really helps to keep all those little scraps that you make for a project and then don't use. <clears throat> I added some sewing to, the, to this one as well to make it work with the rest of the spread and then um, just gluing it in place. Adding some accents with my white uniball pen. And some doodling with the black Elite Vision. Now to make the heart pop even more and to keep the wire in place, I'm adding some Glimmer Glaze and I'm adding it also on all the other red little accents on my spread. It will also help keep everything in place. I'm adding some more stamping, just using Distress Ink, Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And as you can see, I'm first stamping on my post-it. I only want it to be a shadow stamping, not something that is on top of everything. So to blend this down, I'm using uh, a towel. And then I'm going back in with some splatters. That's it for today. I hope you liked today's spread. See you back next time. Ta-da!